Also new tonight at 6, I'm telling Ken, a St. Augustine man says after 10 years as a landlord, what he experienced over the weekend is a first. He said after evicting his tenants, he found a pig in the house. And that's not all. He told on your side's Ken Amaro, it has forced him to change how he does business going forward. This is from an eviction over the weekend. In landlord tenant disputes, usually we hear from the tenant. But this time we're hearing from the landlord and his story sounds a little bit unreal. It was awful. Carl Brav uh, is the landlord. Concerned get, about retaliation, uh, he wanted anonymity. Ten years as a landlord, any ever had a problem like this? Never. Nothing like this. Brav says uh, his former tenants crashed his property before they were evicted. You can see in some places where the walls were damaged. It's unreal. Right. And to his surprise, his tenants apparently kept a big pig in the house. A pig was in the middle of the house. Dogs were in the closet. And I was supposed to get the place back. You know, the people were supposed to be evicted already. And I show up and, and there are eight people on the property. Eventually, the animals were removed. But Brav says his tenants took more than the animals. They took his stuff. He wants them back. And I called the police, and the police said, do you have proof that the stuff was yours? Police told him it is a civil matter. Brav is now in the process of restoring his property. He says it will cost him thousands of dollars. He says he will be more diligent going forward as to who he will have as a tenant. From now on, I will do background checks and credit checks on everybody. The Florida Landlord Tenant Act is there to protect the property owner as well as the tenant. And if there's any questions or any concerns, you can simply call 1-800-435-7352. Canamero, First Coast News on your side. Oh, wow. That's that's the first one. Ken, Ken Amaro always on your side and nobody gets results like Ken. You're just looking at some of the many he has helped. So if you have a problem or a concern, you can tell it to Ken by emailing him at on your side at firstcoastnews.com.